it ended as quickly as it started. The student, who doesn't want to be identified for safety reasons, was alone in a classroom with a professor when the attacker burst in. He just ran around the tables that I was at and then out a door, another door. And the faculty member that was chasing him had blood on his face. And I heard someone yelling, call for help, call security, we need security now. According to this criminal complaint, the assaults began when an instructor asked 21-year-old Gavin Hudson to stay after class to discuss an inappropriate comment he made. She told police he then hit her and continued hitting her after she lost consciousness. What no one yet knew, authorities would later find a loaded gun in his abandoned backpack. On the phone with 911, this witness gave police a good description of the runaway student and the instructor badly beaten as faculty and students rushed to help her. The first aid kit that somebody brought them didn't have the supplies that they needed for that type of injury. So that's a simple thing that can be changed. Leaving this witness to realize how campus security could be improved. In every classroom, you should know the security number and you should know where you are. And you should know where the nearest door is to either get out yourself or to tell someone else to come in. Um, yeah, you didn't know any of I that. I didn't know any of that. It's no one's fault. I think people did the absolute best job they could. I think the school has a responsibility to us as students, to their faculty, to everyone to say, we're gonna take a closer look at this and what could we do differently next time. Now, in response, Normandale issued a statement saying safety is a top priority. They've already invested $1.6 in campus security. And after this week's incident, we'll continue to review feedback from faculty and students. Randy.